Well, after staying indoors during a brutal cold, now might be a good time to get out, try a new mm, restaurant. That's right. Our back tonight, our own Sunrise anchor, Julia Moffitt, heads to Hendricks County to find out what's cooking. The Bread Basket Cafe first opened in Coatesville 12 years ago. It's been in this cozy little home just off the square in Danville for the last six. The owner was really just looking for something to do after her kids left home. She's hit it out of the park. From her fresh daily baked goods, the pies, the cakes, the cookies, her customers love it. Let's go check it out. The food is amazing. The service is great. I love that it's a small town. It's got a small town feel. We bake everything ourselves. Uh, I buy my eggs from a local farm. They're delivered twice a week. I buy produce from four local farms that grow organically. The chicken salad is a recipe I've used um, be long before the bread basket opened. Um, it's my own recipe for dressing as well. Good job with your chicken salad. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> your customers love this one too. Mm -hmm. It's one yeah. of their favorites. And, and I can see why. You think, you know, just the bread basket, it's not just bread. I mean, it's cakes and pies, too, but there's a variety of breads, a variety of cakes. One of the things that I love about the place is the people. The people are so sweet and are so sincere, and they love what they do. And you can tell it in the food. They're very proud of what they do. So do you come up with the recipes and just... Do you know? um, a lot of them are recipes I've used for many, many years. Um, also, I have an incredibly talented staff. That's our Billy turkey. Yes, wow. it has uh, dill cream cheese, cucumbers, turkey. It's got sweet peppers, green peppers on it. It's served on a wheat nut bread. This looks delicious. Mm -hmm. it looks like I need a much bigger mouth, but I'm, uh, I'm game. <laughs> Creaminess and cream cheese. Oh, that is delicious. It's an out of the way kind of from Indianapolis, but it's absolutely worth the drive. And particularly for the, the both the ambiance and the food. We all love what we do and we just want to feed people yeah. good food. Looks like wow. they're doing that. It does. The ambiance and that waffle looks great. That looks really good. <laughs> Thank you.